town's picking up all the leaves this morning. Picked up my two big piles in the front. Too bad my neighbor didn't clean up their leaves today, or yesterday, or whenever. Everyone else did. They didn't. Too bad. All right. What we got here? As you saw, I just did a tiny clip of uh, uh, the packages that I just sent out. Uh, those were the little cow patches be underneath the cow. Um, some are on my website. I sold some through Instagram. Um, yeah, quality is going to be a lot better the next runs we'll kind of just well yeah we were just kind of figuring things out um figuring out the spacing and how wide everything needed to be everything is the right shape but some of the beads aren't as crisp as they should it's going behind the cowl anyway i figured it'd be all right if it's not all right let me know and I'll send you revised ones, but I, it's hidden. It's just a support piece. I doubt, I doubt anyone's going to have an issue, but if you do, please reach out. Uh, if it's not up to your standards, I was packing them and I was like, hmm, should I send this out? And I was like, it's going behind a cow. So I'm just going to send it out from, from here on out. They're going to be perfect. I'm not going to let any slide. Uh, but it's been like four days since people ordered stuff, so I just need, I needed to get things out. Um, I don't know if this is bad business practices or what, but it's going to be better. And I'm going to be making those, uh, these pieces. So I'm going to be making a strip probably 12 inches long. Uh... You know, with a little extra meat on the side here. So they fit in the envelope that I have. And it's cheap to ship, but it's it's obviously not the full thing. Because if you need the full thing, might as well just buy a cow side at that point. Um, so this is just for if you need repairs here, if you something dented up here. Even this middle section, if it's dented and mangled for some reason, the patch should fit there. I'm going to try to have it. Not try. I'm going to have it contoured so you don't need to stretch it, shrink it, do any of that. Uh, it'll fit the contour of the cow out of the package. So a lot of these, a lot of the patch makers, most of them, if not all of them, make their patches flat. So you need to mess with them to make them fit. I'm going to try to get them, yeah, I'll say try because not every model is the same. Um, so I'm going to try to have them the same contour as your car. I'm kind of going to work off what I have. If it's not the contour, it's going to be damn close and a lot better than flat. So I'm not sure what I'm doing this morning. Uh, clean up a little bit. It's been a mess from the weekend, cleaning the yard, doing that pickup. Alright, so I'm actually not going to do any work today. Uh, it's kind of a bummer because I want to make some money. But I need to clean this up. So I got to go find some, uh, what do you call it, some drums. I was trying to find some 55-gallon drums with the tops removable. Um, couldn't find any. They had these though. There's a place right down the street that has a bunch of these. Uh, it's military issue. Drinking water, barrels, and then after you can use them as latrines. Um, they've been pretty good at 17 and a half gallons. Um, you know, not the best, but not the worst. 
Because I got scrap here. I got scrap here. I got scrap right there. Not that fender, but all that crap is scrap. Uh, scrap back there. Scrap up there. And this is the biggest problem. That's not clean. This isn't cleaning outside, but this. All my little scraps. They kind of were in five gallon buckets and then it just, you know, escalates fairly quickly. What's up, Lee? Hey. What? Pick out four of these, you know, survival supplies barrels. I'm gonna use these for scraps. Um, but four of them, what the heck? So, alright, let's load these up. date on it 1962 1963 cool strap bands Probably gonna do one aluminum. The rest of it's steel. Probably two with nice bright steel and the other with rusty crap. So, alright, let's get organizing.
getting stuff pulled out. There's the floor for the 37. This is scrap. There's the wheels, plow, junk. As you saw, I just I think you could see that in the time lapse. It's cutting this out because this tank is destroyed. I took the petcock out and the material came with it. So um, safe to say that tank is junk. It's the only tank I've ever cut, but it needed to be. It's uh, it's only good for a top. But uh, the rest is coming pretty good. These fenders will go upstairs. The 38 Ford standard fenders. Um, this stuff will go upstairs in the Model A section. It's the crusty roads here we're putting together. See, look at that piece we just made. It's rusted off of this one. Clean off. Um, yeah, I might, I might get those blasted sometime. Um, this frame is 37 frame. This is my frame underneath it. Uh, rear end and everything. So I think I'm going to put the three window on that frame. Call my buddy Chris and give him this frame. Put the front end somewhere. So this, this will be gone. It'll be consolidated on there. I think the frame... Ooh, I don't know what the frame is going to do yet. I think when I get the cardboard... Um, I might strap it to the ceiling for now until I get everything. All right, all that's left here now is my chassis, the 37 frame, and a Model A front end. Um, this obviously can't move because there's no rear end under it. Uh, Jacob's coming here doing a scrap run, so we're going to move this. Mostly this stuff is scrap. Uh, obviously, this bucket scrap. I'm going to give him a bunch of metal from here. Nothing I do is really heavy iron anyway, so it's not going to get too much in scrap, but it's going to help me get the stuff out of here. Um, who knows? Might have some other stuff somewhere. I'm going to wait till he gets there, get that stuff out of the way, move these out into the driveway, um, clean this area up, move the tractor, you know, Try to get everything nice and clean. Maybe get some crushed stone bags. Fill this area with some crushed stone. Because the garage, the, oh, the carport is going to go here. And I don't want just dirt right here. I could, could do carport. I mean, crushed stone later. Which I probably will. But that's kind of the plan. scrap is gone it's not really much that really looked like a change but it did got a lot of scrap from inside and scrap from in there but i think i'm gonna throw that front end up there get this moved out of the way yeah i got room enough i can probably move that stuff right there get that chassis out clean stuff up all right got the frame out this tire likes to go flat pretty fast. Someone has to do something about him, probably change him out. Uh, the rest of it seems pretty good. Uh, I got a lot of leavies to clean up. Maybe some surprises in here too, who knows? Got a Christmas tree. Oh so yeah, gonna clean up these pans, put some stuff back up in there. Uh, my tractor won't start, I don't know why. Um, probably because I leave it outside, but 
Gotta get that figured out. And then, uh, yeah, gotta get that figured out. But yeah, I'm gonna clean up. You know how I just bought those barrels? Jake was scrapping stuff. You know what's coming. He just called me. He emptied the stuff out of the buckets, put the buckets on the ground, emptied the stuff out of the truck, drove away, remembered the buckets, went to go get them. The guy was pushing them up the hill. So, I just spent $100 on buckets to have them crushed. He's learning a lot these days, messing up. So hopefully takes these life lessons to not forget things that people specifically tell him not to damage. All right, um, he should be here any minute. We can bust his balls. And so here's the Dingleberry himself. Do they have any more of them there? Is that all? They have a ton of them. They're like 40 bucks a piece. What'd you do? Huh? Oh, I left the buckets next to the scrap pile, and then when I went to pay, I remembered, and when I walked back, they were already crushing them, so. Great. Yeah. What are you doing? I got Josh man. He just got my shoes on now. Where's uh, your brother? He's in the backyard. I oh, guess. he's right there playing in the tree. Mm -hmm. Alright, we got this all cleaned up for the most part. They wanted this car fixed. It ain't fixed. Nothing really wrong with it, but it's not fixed. I don't know what you would call it. But, this is for the tractor, Dad. It is for my tractor. So this I got. This is for the snow. If it snows, you, you got to push the snow. Yeah, you want to do that. Yeah, you're going to help me. Yeah, I legit. Yeah. So I got this kind of mocked here for now. I don't know what I'm going to do with the stuff, but it's on the chassis that can roll around. So if I need to move everything, all I need to do is move the fenders off the tires. And I can push it where it needs to go. So take, take a picture of me. Cheese. Cheese. There it is. So when it comes time, it's not going to be today. But I'll roll the chassis over here. Put this on it. Chassis. Bye bye. Yeah, this this whole movement of things is going to be after the carport is here. Uh, this is just in preparation. Um, so it's easier when the car park gets here. I can just literally move that whole pile of crap here or there or there. Um, but yeah, um, it's cleaned up. I feel good. It looks kind of the same as before, but less leaves and stuff that could potentially, potentially cause a fire. And like I said before, easier for us to assemble a carport. Um, I got a bunch of the stuff upstairs. But I guess that's all I have for today. I know it wasn't a riveting video and Friday's video wasn't 
riveting either. Um, but I'm gonna get to work. Definitely tomorrow. Um, we'll do get some stuff on this done. <sighs> you know, sometimes you gotta take a day and clean up. So, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.